Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. I just dropped my boy off at uh, kindergarten and I'm headed home. And a lot of times when I'm, I'm driving, I, I notice that a lot of people tend to drive the way that a lot of people in our culture tend to live. Uh, they drive in a way that creates da a lot of dangerous situations that I think they themselves don't even notice because most of the time nothing bad happens. Like there's a car behind me right now. There may be two car lengths behind me or so and we're going just about 50 miles an hour. So uh, if something jumps out in front of me and we're, I'm in an area where there's plenty of squirrels and even deer, people's dogs and things like that that can run out in front of the car, if I have to stop for anything, you know, they're very likely going to plow into the back of me. Now, that's probably not going to happen. Usually, you know, things don't jump out in front of you and, you know, usually people don't end up plowing into the back of you. But that doesn't mean that they're not living in a way, creating these dangers for themselves that they're just completely unaware of. And it's a good analog for, I think, of the way a lot of people live their lives in general. Uh, people just go through their lives and even the tiniest little thing, the tiniest little road bump, can create a car crash in their life. You know, someone loses their job and that's just it because they, they didn't have any preparation for that. You know, somebody, you know, gets injured or ill, same kind of thing, that's it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a major cataclysm Cause, because people don't have that kind of preparedness mindset. When I'm driving, you know, I see a construction site and, you know, I'm looking to see if, the, you know, a vehicle maybe is planning on pulling out. Uh, I'm seeing, I drive through an area that I know tends to have squirrels. You know, I'm looking for squirrels if they run out, you know, same with deer, uh, all those types of things. Uh, I live on a dirt road that's pretty narrow and there are sections on the dirt road that uh, uh, are real blind spots. I'm on the dirt road right now, it's going to start getting bumpier. And uh, uh, there are always places where I'm, I slow down a little bit and, and I'm pretty careful, but other drivers coming down this road tear down the road and are very frequently, you know, uh, I've seen people slamming into snow drifts because they did not account for the idea there might be somebody else on the road at the time. I'm coming up on one right now and I'm, I'm just looking around it, driving slowly, seeing if anybody's going to come up and, up and around it. Yeah, and we were clear this time, and you're al you almost always are clear, and people get low. Wow! I'm sorry. This is what it's like all the time on my dirt road. <laughs> and people get lulled into kind of a sense of complacency. When you drive through an area and there's never someone around that blind spot, you know, they just whip around, and people are like that in their life, too, you know. I go to work every day, and, you know, my job's always there for me. I go to the grocery store every day, and there's, there's always food there for me. And I think it's kind of the same thing at work, that there's a complacency that's built up, but the danger's still there. If you're, you're driving in a way that's not watching out for these things, you know, at some point, you or someone else who drives like you is going to get bit by that. And in the same way with regular life, you or someone else who lives like you is going to get bit by not being careful about those things. So I think it's, it's worthwhile to think about. How do you drive? Do you drive in a way that's like prepping? Or do you drive in a way that's like a lot of people in our culture live their lives, where everything's fine as long as no little things go wrong? I just got home. Just something to think about. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.